Vortex. I wanted to let you know, I did something really weird recently. I watched a movie. I used to watch movies all the time. I worked in a movie theater. And watching movies was like something I was really passionate about. But ever since I started doing comedy, I just don't have any time for other people's art. I know that sounds a little pretentious, but I feel like I've wasted enough time not knowing what I wanted to do, not knowing how I was supposed to direct this party constantly. Filling my brain with confetti and drugs and, you know, um, <laughs> what it's like to be mentally ill it's just like you just have like constant entertainment that everybody in society is threatened by or they're, th they're threatened by it or they're just weirded out by it so it's like oh you have a disease you know so typical so typical of a boring ass motherfucker to look at somebody that doesn't have to watch TV to be entertained. Of course, of course that person's gonna look at somebody like me with you know, total bewilderment and misunderstanding and all that. It's fine. We forgive, we forgive. That's gotta be rough being so boring. But anyway, yeah, I watched this movie. It wasn't a movie, it was a film. We don't really watch movies, but um, it was a Stanley Kubrick film called Eyes Wide Shut. And my friend Todd, he convinced me to watch this movie because he said it was about the elite. Now, I, I do believe that Stanley Kubrick knew a lot of shit that was going on, which is why they had to kill him off. But yeah, that movie is all about why women are terrible. I feel like I need to like write down a list of movies that prove why misogyny is correct. Because there is this one scene in the movie where it was just so classic. So basically, this whole movie is about this married couple. Now they seem like they're pretty happy in their marriage. They're definitely satisfied sexually, probably because it's Nicole Kidman and Tom Cruise before their divorce. Well, they're both attractive. So they've been married for like nine years and they still have sex a lot. Congratulations. Well, this one night, they both go to this party that is hosted by, I believe it's the, the boss of Tom Cruise. So Tom Cruise is a doctor. And they go to this party every year. But Because they both separate at some point in the party and they, you know, find other people to entertain them. And so Nicole Kidman is dancing with this older man that clearly wants to have sex with her. And he tells her how stupid she is for being married. And she's just wasting all of her opportunities being married to this one guy, right? Now, while this is happening, her husband, Tom Cruise, is entertaining these two younger girls who, you know, are pestering him. He doesn't even want to talk to them. He keeps trying to leave, and they just insist on following him around. Well, she sees this and gets jealous because she's drunk. And the next day, they both smoke some weed. And she brings this up. She brings up these other girls that he was talking to. And they get into this argument 
about fidelity. And basically, she picks a fight with him because he tells her that he trusts her. He trusts her because he loves her. And that's why he's chosen her to be his wife. And she basically tells him, well, that's stupid because this one time, a long time ago, this guy was looking at me and I would have run off with him if he had asked me to do that. All because he looked at me and I wanted to have sex with him so bad that your ass is grass. I don't give a fuck about you. You're wrong to think that women are trustworthy or faithful or anything. What the hell are you doing coming this way? All right, good. I'm glad that you wiped at me. At least you know you were wrong. Um, <laughs> okay. So that's like the beginning of the movie. That's like the intro. All right. I don't know how she would be about that. A lot of people are weird about that. It's kind of rude to film somebody without them giving you permission to do that. But anyway, I got in some trouble for that at a job. My, my job at Kroger, they reported me to HR for that, among many other things. But um, anyway, so. Yeah, so. Um, Anyway, this movie, honestly, I feel like the movie is more about um, how easy it is to mess with people's minds. And basically, like, this, this whole scene in, the, in this movie, the, the bedroom scene, um, involving Nicole Kidman and Tom Cruise where she's just basically telling on herself. And she's telling him that he's just a real fucking idiot for ever trusting her or thinking that she wouldn't have cheated on him or run away with this other man. And I really don't know if she was doing that to be emotionally manipulative or to like one up him or you know control him or whatever but this makes him lose his mind okay and because she reveals this tiny little piece of information that was not necessary for her to reveal he ends up going down this rabbit hole that's really terrible and nearly getting himself killed because he stumbles in on you know like a a sex trafficking ring essentially that's run by the elite so yeah, there's a lot of truth to the movie. Um, which is why I think it got really bad reviews. But it's just interesting though, like how women just keep proving time and time again that they're absolutely despicable and that they shouldn't be trusted. They're not right about anything. They're just horrible, horrible people. Okay. And this movie's a great example of that. So if you have the opportunity to watch it, you should watch it. It's pretty good. But... Yeah, you know, men are really easy to manipulate when women know, like, what bu buttons they can push, okay? And I, I think that Because of that, you know, women will always be the superior sex. I don't care what anybody says. I'm not a feminist. I'm not, like, that's not a good thing. I think men should be on top. Women should be subservient to them. But that's not the way that the world is. Because women are emotionally manipulative, it's really easy for us to convince people of particular narratives that aren't true. 
because everybody has this misconception about women being victims. And that's just not true. Um, women use this to our advantage. So, whenever people think that somebody's a victim, they're a lot nicer to them. They're a lot more sympathetic towards every terrible thing that that person's capable of doing because they can convince themselves, oh, they, they don't know what they're doing. It's like the fucking insanity plea. Like I said before, I'm a woman plea, right? Anyway. Now, I'm not saying that I've never been emotionally manipulative. Okay, I have to tell on myself here. Um, you know, back when I was in relationships and I wasn't secure in who I am, you know, I was way more manipulative. But I've noticed, like, there's no need for me to be that way. It's, it's really like a plague of insecurity. You know, the reason why people do that is because they don't know what else to do. You know, it's kind of like Satan has to lie to everybody because there's no truth in him. It's the same way with somebody that's insecure. So they have to manipulate you in order to distract you from the fact that it's them that has the problem. So because they're not stable and they're not solid in whatever they are, they have to lie to you. So... Most people are gaslighters and they don't even know it. But. I just think about stuff like this a lot, you know? Human behavior is something that I'm always trying to understand because, you know, human beings just keep proving time and time again that they're fucking worthless, okay? Like, for the most part. Not all of them, but for the most part, you know. Might as well just take us out. But, um, I don't want to have that opinion about people, though. I really don't. Like, I feel sorry for them. I feel sorry for society being so easily manipulated and controlled and all of that. I feel sorry for them. But, you know, it makes sense, though. It makes sense. Because that is human nature, but it's also the nature of this world, you know? So. Depressing as shit, but. What video do I do that's not depressing as shit?